Good morning, traders. U.S. and European markets dropped steeply on Friday as investors remain shaken by the fallout of bank collapses in the U.S. and the big issues at Credit Suisse. And then we're doing this ahead of a, a pivotal week in central bank policy meetings. And over the weekend, um, there was an SMB broker deal that was announced that UBS will buy rival Credit Suisse for three billion francs uh, and and agree to assume up to five billion in losses. That this is a deal that would see. Credit Suisse shareholders receive one UBS share for every 22.48 Credit Suisse shares. Um, this is a bid to restore confidence in the banking sector. Uh, whether it sues investors or not, we'll, we'll find out at Monday's open, uh, due in an hour or so. You know, with the background of banking woes, this, this week's central bank decisions have, have certainly become more interesting. Up until a week ago, the market was pricing in a, a 50 basis point hike from the Federal Reserve. The odds of now sh uh, showing around a 60% for a 25, 40% for a pause. In my view, it's likely they'll still go for the 25, but uh, moderate their language in the statements somewhat to uh, mollify the markets. Now, next we'll have the Bank of England, whose decision is now on a knife edge. Um, the market's split on a 25 hike or a pause. Uh, since the last decision, there has been encouraging data with wage growth finally showing signs of having peaked. A recent communication indicates that the bar for pausing is much lower at the Bank of England than, say, the ECB or the Fed. So it'll likely come down to whether stability in the financial markets returns before Thursday when the decision's due. Either way, expect the community to remain heavily divided on this, and, and, and I would expect some pretty big volatility in the British pound. Um, last central bank to go is the Swiss National Bank. Uh, inflation's continued to rise there and exceed expectations. It's reached 3.4% in February. Um, with the SMB well behind its peers in the rate hiking cycle, they've only, they've only hiked to 175 basis points so far. 50 basis points was pretty much a done deal for this meeting only a fortnight ago. That's obviously reduced a lot due to uh, the issues in the banking sector. So a 25 or even a pause is possible there. So a very busy and more than likely volatile week ahead.